It's one of the things I find most striking is the presence of Antarctica on ancient maps because we didn't discover it until 1820. What the fuck is it doing on a map drawn in the 1500s, which we know was based on older source maps when nobody knew it existed in the 1500s? A satellite image, a heat signature buried five miles under the Antarctic ice. If it's what some believe it is, then reality as we know it might be nothing but code. Scientists at Oxford University have been saying it for decades. We might be living in a computer simulation, but now, a team of physicists has designed an experiment that could finally prove it. What they've discovered challenges everything we thought we knew about quantum physics. The fabric of our universe shows patterns that shouldn't exist naturally. This isn't just another theory. For the first time, we have a testable experiment that could reveal whether our world is rendered by an advanced intelligence. Whether the universe itself is just lines of code in a vast cosmic computer. And the strangest part? The experiment is already showing results that classical physics simply cannot explain. The simulation hypothesis has gone from science fiction to mainstream science. Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom's argument is compelling. If advanced civilizations can create realistic simulations, then statistically speaking, we're almost certainly living in one right now. This isn't just fascinating, it's scientifically chilling. If true, it means our entire reality Everything you've ever known or experienced is just data in an advanced computer program. The experiments now underway aren't looking for glitches in some movie-style matrix. They're searching for evidence of computational limits in the fabric of reality itself, the equivalent of finding the pixels in our supposedly smooth universe. What makes this groundbreaking is how it would rewrite our understanding of physics, consciousness, and even our place in existence. If we confirm we're in a simulation, it means there's a base reality beyond our own, and possibly beings who created us for purposes we can't comprehend. The implications extend beyond philosophy. If our universe is simulated, it might mean we could eventually hack its code, potentially granting us abilities that would seem like superpowers from our current perspective. Let's take a step back. Because if the simulation hypothesis is real, we need to ask, how could our entire universe be artificial without us noticing? The answer might be simpler than you think. Our reality appears continuous and infinitely detailed. But physicists like Silas Bean from the University of Washington have pointed out that any computer simulation must have a finite resolution, a limit to how small things can get. In 2012, Bean and his colleagues proposed that if space is computed on a 3D lattice, we might detect this grid-like structure in the behavior of high-energy cosmic rays. These particles would travel preferentially along the simulation's grid lines, revealing the underlying architecture of our reality. Think about your favorite video game. No matter how realistic it looks, if you zoom in close enough, you'll eventually see pixels. Our universe might work the same way, with fundamental limits to its resolution that betray its artificial nature. The truly unsettling part Several features of quantum physics already align perfectly with how an efficient simulation would work. Particles only seem to decide their properties when observed, as if the program is saving resources by not rendering what no one's looking at. So here's the question that keeps physicists up at night. What if the strange behavior of quantum particles isn't a natural phenomenon at all, but simply an optimization technique of the universe's rendering engine? AI finds what humans missed. In 2023, physicists discovered something humans had missed for decades. Hidden in the equations of supersymmetry was actual computer code, the same error-correcting patterns used in browsers to fix corrupted data. Theoretical physicist S. James Gates Jr. was stunned when he found these digital signatures embedded in the fundamental equations that describe particles and forces. These weren't just similar patterns, they were identical to the codes programmers use. I was driven to error-correcting codes, Gates explained. So why were they in the equations I was studying about quarks and electrons? This discovery forced him to confront a shocking possibility. The mathematics of our universe literally contains computer code. It's not that scientists haven't found evidence of simulation before, it's that they've never known exactly where to look. Now. Thomas Campbell, a physicist and former NASA engineer, is leading a team searching for something even more profound. His experiments, which began in 2024, 
are designed to catch the universe in the act of rendering itself, much like a video game only generates the scenery a player is looking at. What if our reality works the same way? What if the universe only computes detailed outcomes when someone is there to observe them? Exploring the Silurian Window In 2018, Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom published a paper asking a wild question. If we are living in a simulation, how could we possibly detect it? His simulation argument isn't claiming it's definitely happening, but seriously explores what signs would reveal if it were true. The key idea, not obvious glitches, but subtle computational fingerprints might be detectable. Here's the crazy part. The mathematical patterns in quantum physics, the discrete nature of energy and particles. It's crazy when you think about it. We can land rovers on Mars and detect black holes billions of light years away. But right here on Earth, many insurance companies still try to lowball people after an accident, like it's the Stone Age. If you ever get seriously hurt, your case could actually be worth millions, which is why you might want a stellar legal team fighting to get you the compensation you deserve. That's why so many people check out Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They don't settle for weak offers. Just recently, they secured $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philadelphia for injury victims, 30 to 40 times more than what insurance companies first offered. And here's the real-world physics of it. If they don't win, you don't pay. No upfront fees, no hidden charges. It's completely free unless they win your case. They've even modernized the whole process. You can submit your claim and chat with your legal team right from your smartphone. If you ever got seriously injured, your case could be worth millions and you're only a few clicks away from potentially changing your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash spatialize, found in the description below, or by scanning the QR code on screen. Now let's get back to the video. and the apparent speed limit of light, these could all be limitations of the simulation. Just as video games have maximum rendering distances and frame rates, our universe appears to have fundamental constraints. Physicist Max Tegmark from MIT noted that the universe's laws are entirely mathematical. Particles and forces follow rigid equations, exactly like rules in computer code. If I were a character in a computer game, Tegmark said, I would also discover eventually that the rules seemed completely rigid and mathematical. That just reflects the computer code it's written in. But what if we're not just passive characters in this cosmic program? What if we could test the simulation directly? That's exactly what Thomas Campbell's team at Cal Poly University is attempting with their groundbreaking quantum experiments. They're looking for evidence that reality only materializes when conscious observers are involved just like a video game that only renders what the player is looking at. What makes this approach revolutionary is that it could finally provide empirical evidence that our universe behaves like a simulation, not just philosophical speculation. Let's walk through what would happen if Campbell's experiments proved we're living in a simulation. The implications would be profound and far-reaching. Science would undergo a complete paradigm shift. Physics, biology, and cosmology would need to be reinterpreted as explorations of the simulation's parameters rather than natural laws. The formation of a new discipline would be inevitable, something we might call computational reality studies. Our understanding of consciousness would be forever transformed. If reality only exists when observed, as Campbell's experiments might show, it would suggest consciousness plays a fundamental role in creating the universe itself, not just perceiving it. Religious and philosophical frameworks would face unprecedented challenges and opportunities. Some might see the simulation as evidence of a creator, while others would question whether the simulators themselves are conscious beings or simply another layer in a potentially infinite stack of realities. The practical implications could be even more revolutionary. If we confirmed we live in a simulation, researchers would inevitably begin looking for ways to interact with it more directly perhaps even finding ways to modify the code that governs our existence. Imagine the possibilities. Communicating with the simulators, discovering cheat codes in reality, or even transferring consciousness between simulations. What was once science fiction could become scientific focus. The greatest find in history wouldn't just be proof of artificial reality. It would be a mirror, one showing us that we exist in a created world potentially designed with purpose rather than arising by chance. 
Let's place the simulation hypothesis in context with older, more traditional scientific theories. The idea that reality might be an illusion has ancient roots in philosophy. From Plato's cave allegory to Descartes' evil demon thought experiment, but these were purely philosophical notions without experimental backing. More recent interpretations like the holographic principles suggest our 3 d reality might be projected from information stored on a 2D surface, a concept supported by string theory, but still lacking definitive proof. The simulation hypothesis gained mainstream attention through science fiction, like The Matrix, but remained speculative until computing power advanced enough to create increasingly realistic virtual worlds ourselves. These older theories are often dismissed as unfalsifiable philosophy rather than testable science. The real lesson, reality is stranger and more complex than we once believed. So, while no simulation glitch has ever been confirmed and no previous experiments have passed serious scientific scrutiny, the experiments now underway force us to widen our understanding. Because maybe, just maybe, We've been asking the wrong questions about the nature of reality itself. The key difference now is that researchers like Campbell aren't just philosophizing. They're designing controlled experiments with the potential to detect inconsistencies in quantum behavior that could only exist if our reality were rendered by an external system. If the simulation hypothesis is proven true through these experiments, then everything changes about our understanding of existence. The experiments now underway represent our best chance yet to determine whether reality is fundamentally computational. Thomas Campbell's quantum tests, Melvin Vopson's information physics research, and the ongoing search for cosmic ray anisotropies could all provide evidence that our universe behaves like a sophisticated computer program. We like to think of ourselves as autonomous beings in a natural world, but in the deeper reality of existence, maybe, we're just characters in someone else's code. What do you think these experiments could reveal? A computational universe? A natural reality with deceptive patterns? Or the first evidence that our consciousness is part of a vast simulation? Tell us in the comments before we explore more mind-bending physics in future episodes. The simulation hypothesis isn't just a philosophical curiosity anymore. It's becoming experimentally testable. And the results of these tests could fundamentally transform our understanding of reality, consciousness, and our place in existence. Subscribe if you haven't already, because if even one of these experiments shows positive results, it rewrites everything we thought we knew about the nature of our universe.